beautiful view over here, new construction. I think that is the Sheraton in the background. But here's the museum. All right, let's see what they got inside. So we found the entrance to the museum. We walked actually all the way around because we got dropped off at the bottom of the hill. So here's the entrance. Oh, they have vegetables growing These here. These are red pale bell peppers. Red bell peppers? Yeah. Wow. And that's like two slums, like over in this area. You show them the plants. These five. Yeah, you can take nice. Nah, it's security entrance. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Bravo, Ethiopia. This is amazing. This is something you would absolutely see in any Western country. This is second to none. Look at this amazing museum. At the front, they have this um, agriculture, these agriculture exhibits showing seedlings and giving information about uh, planting, agriculture, farming, all of that. Look at this. The planets. Wow. So anybody who thinks Ethiopia doesn't have any um, modern technology or buildings, like, this should prove you wrong. I don't know what kind of fish these are. Look, there's fish, Micah. This is a lot. I'm going to put those. This is beautiful. Steve. Also, I was just asking my husband, um, the price for this is free. It's free entrance to the public. Isn't that amazing? So you don't even have to pay. There wasn't a line when we came in. You just walk straight in and you get to enjoy this beautiful museum. This is called Tilapia Fry. This is, what is this? It doesn't have a name. They look like some kind of silver fish. They're pretty. Mm -hmm. Ornamental fish. I think these are goldfish. Wow, look at this. <laughs> I think this is the feed, right? This is what they eat. They have feed here for the different kind of fish. <laughs> African catfish. Oh, this is an African catfish in here. They're all kind of piled up over there. Wow, but they have the same kind of whiskers as other types of catfish. Jonah, no, no, don't go too close. <laughs> I don't know if they're all the same kind of fish or what. This is so cool, guys. These are dead fish. That's an eel. <laughs> okay. No. no an eel. This is an eel. An eel. I think they're just for um, display. Yeah. Maybe you can see up close. Catfish skin. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, what are these? Something.
Lots of coffee from different regions of Ethiopia. I just said that. Harar. Bebeka. Yerga Chafe. Again, Yerga Chafe. Tepi. And again, Sadamu. Oh, here's a coffee plant with some coffee fruit on it. Wow. You can see the difference in like the color of the coffee. Slight differences. Here's an irrigation system that they use for the coffee. Solar Village. Solar powered pump supply and installation. Urban farming drip and sprinkler irrigation system. No, just. How would you like to get a cafe? Cool. Here's some pure or organic honey. They're offering taste of the honey. Here's the beekeeping. Exhibit. Okay, so they have different kind of honey. This one is from Bali. This is where daddy's from. I think this one's from Kenya. South Omo Valley. Honey, look, this one's from Bali. I know. They also have um, infused, garlic infused honey, ginger infused honey. Wow, this is a cinnamon infused honey. And this one is mint. Wow, that probably wow. tastes so good. That's probably so good in tea or something. Right. Mm -hmm. Guys, these are products that are available at these oh. locations here in uh, Addis. Wow, so this is your product? It is, yeah. Oh, I'm the founder wow. of the company. Yes. Go with it. Yeah. <laughs> different types of grain that are grown in Ethiopia. These are some very tasty Ethiopian made snacks made from teh. And they have different types of snacks and cereals. There's penne pasta, pancake and waffle mix, little like puff snacks that come in different flavors. We tried them. They have testers and they taste really good. And this kind woman right here, she gave us some to take home. One for each of the boys. Love Grass. So you guys support Love Grass Teff Company. And I think they have a website. So if you want to taste these delicious snacks, you can find them online right here. Lovegrass.et. Do you guys ship to the US or? UK. Okay, they ship to the UK. So if you're there, you can get it in the US. You'll have to come also, here. Also, you can order online. Okay, yeah. awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. They have live chickens on display. Don't step up my teddy bear. Is that a sheep? I need to check it. What would you develop in? I'm being tense to go to my these are fresh eggs with fresh chicken and live chickens. Look at these eggs the hens produced. I think these are roosters, right? Are these roosters? Those are hens. On the top or all of them? All of these. Oh, all of these are hens. Wow, look at them producing these eggs. This one is sleeping. Oh my gosh, look at their head. Here are some fruit trees that are endemic to Ethiopia and of course other parts of the world. This right here is a mango tree. She's still small, growing. This one is the banana tree. We have papaya down here. They're very, they have distinct leaves and looks to them. This is avocado. This one actually looks a little bit similar to the mango tree. Let's see what else do we see over here. 
That is a, oh, an apple tree. An apple tree? That kind of thin looking one. What do you mean? In the middle, right there. Oh, I see it. What else do we have? Um, I think these are all mango. Let's see. What are these over here? I don't know. This looks like, is it an orange tree? I don't know. Don't quote me on that, guys. I'm not sure. And I don't see another label for, for this one right here. If you guys know what it is, let me know in the comments it's not labeled but it looks familiar there's a bunch of trees that are growing in here even on this side there's more um, okay these aren't fruit I think these are just normal um, greenery and plants. sorry <laughs> okay this is um, a coffee tree here, and olea. Oh, olive tree! Wow, an African olive tree. Very nice. Okay, so this museum has multiple levels. We just finished the whole downstairs level, and now we're walking upstairs to the next level to see what they have there. That's where we were, and now uh, my sister-in-law and her children came to meet us. So we're going to all walk up to the next level together. Oh wait, I don't know if there's anything up there or just a view. It looks like it's just going to be a view, but... So we saw all the museum stuff downstairs. Okay guys, so we made it up to the next level, and it looks like it is just a beautiful view of Addis Ababa. Hey, this is gorgeous. Ethiopia is on another level. They have leveled up in Addis. Like, what? The last time, even the last time I was here, well, when I did Peace Corps like 10 years ago, and then five years before that, and then most recently last year, like, so much has changed. So much has changed here. Look at this. You can see um, Unity Park over there. That's the palace. Yester, or whenever we were there, you can see that was the, what was that? The dining hall. Oh yeah. And then Menelik's house right there. Oh yeah, banquet hall, that's what it was called. And then the city, the city of Addis Ababa. Wow. So we're on top of the roof here and we just noticed the whole building is actually powered by solar. So they have all these solar panels up here on one side of the um, rooftop. Wow, amazing. True technology coming to Ethiopia. Renewable energy. I love to see it. We came to Friendship Park to let the boys kind of play a little bit, get some of their energy out. It's really beautiful. I should have took the view as we walked down here. But when I go back up, I'll show you. It's a beautiful place. Just like all of the other parks here in Ethiopia. All right, guys, here is the beautiful nature at, where am I? Friendship Park. We just left the playground area. The kids had a lot of fun. Now we're gonna eat and then call it a day. Thank you. 
We are at the Ethiopian Cultural Dance House tonight to enjoy the rest of the evening. Oh my. Oh. 